Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro with a really quick workflow tutorial for you that will hopefully save you a lot of time. Let's get started. Because sound design is so important to your video editing, I find it really frustrating that Final Cut Pro doesn't have the ability to save a custom sound effects folder within the software. So as is, all you can do is go over here to the sound panel here, locate your sound effects, and what you get here is what Final Cut Pro provides. But there is a really quick workaround that makes it so you can actually access all of your custom sound effects straight from within Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. All you're gonna do is go ahead and hide Final Cut Pro, and you can jump on into your Finder. You are then going to want to locate your sound effects folder, so mine is in Movies, Assets, and Sound Effects. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select make alias. So now I have my sound effects alias, which is basically just a shortcut. Go ahead and select that sound effects alias and you can push command C or you can click and drag. Then you can go over to your Macintosh hard drive. Now, if you don't have the Macintosh hard drive enabled here on the side, you can go on up to go. You can go down to computer and then you can locate the Macintosh hard drive. From there, we are going to go into the library. Then we're gonna go down to audio, Apple loops, Apple, and then you'll locate the Final Cut Pro sound effects. Then all we're gonna do is push Command V to paste, and I will type in my password here. And just like that, we now have our sound effects alias within this folder. So now this folder is going to tell Final Cut Pro to look at that other folder, which was in my movies, assets, sound effects, it's going to push Final Cut Pro to check in there for sound effects. So if I open up Final Cut Pro, you can see it's actually already put all of these sound effects in here for me. And what's great is I can actually search through these. So if I type in something like whoosh, I've got all of my whoosh sound effects happening, or I can do anything from like a mouse click and all of these sound effects that I had in that folder will be within Final Cut Pro. Another great advantage is you can click up here on this folder and you can see all of your sound effects by folder. And the last huge advantage that I love is that rather than having all of these folders cluttering up your library, they will all be within this sound effects panel in Final Cut Pro, keeping things nice and clean. And then as you drag them into your project, Let's see if I want to bring in knife fighting, probably going to get me demonetized. That will now be located here within the library. If you want to learn more about my sound design workflow in Final Cut Pro, make sure you check out this video. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.